following the words of God. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to new life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the source of truth. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the sign of the Father's love. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. We pray the glory together. Even though it should be sung, let us sing it, if, if you want to say from the spoken words, with a uh, great gospel. So we pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you call us to adore you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Three in one, one in three. You call us to that unity that continues to be that which brings us peace, love, and harmony in our hearts. So as we celebrate this peace, may we continue to adore you and also live your unity. We ask this through Christ, our Lord.
Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all.
carried as they filled the streets of our cities from coast to coast this past week and even today. And as I call it, the pandemic of racism. Signs that said, and summarize it well, I can't breathe. Or, I am next. Or, Black Lives Matter. Or, All Lives Matter. Or, No Justice, No Peace. Or, we have had enough. Or, if not now, then when? Or, we are sacred. And yes, just the names of the posters says it very well. George Floyd, Brianna Taylor, Ahmed Barkley. I was thinking, a lot of water has gone over the dam in the United States since we were last worshipped last weekend. You were here with us, or maybe you watched it on you know, an iPad or TV. Hi there. You see me Sunday. About this great pandemic. But those signs express the heart of unrest. And maybe they help us a little bit to better understand. And it is mystery how people can be so hateful and racist and violent. There is mystery in evil. There is mystery in evil. And evil can be defined as racist and violence. There is mystery in evil. And my friends, today we're faced with mystery too in this celebration. In the celebration of the Trinity. What kind of poster would you put together for Trinity? To describe Trinity? What words would you say? And I think we could simply say, God for us. Three words. God for us. We don't have to go into some great theological statement from our catechism book. We need it. But if that really summarizes this mystery, God for us. And God for us in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And you know, in the readings today, we see how God's invitation to us be in relationship with God the Father. And we're reminded God is for us, that God loves each of us, and wills are good. If, there, if there's nobody else that wills are good, it is God. God wills your good. Not your bad. That love is so real that Christ was actually willing to die for us. And that spirit, as I talked about last weekend, is a gift of the Father and the Son to us. To remain present among us. And I shared that thought with our 12 students who were confirmed this Saturday morning at 10 o'clock here in our church. You know, the Holy Spirit teaches and reminds us of that Trinitarian love, strengthening, consoling us in times of challenge and trial. Again, God is for us. No matter what pandemic surrounds us. Empowering us to be disciples that were not only for God, but were also for God. 
God's great goodness made a little bit less than the angels human beings. How much we're called to be for others. Let's be honest. We never fully know, we'll never fully know this world, how and why God loves us so much. And why he has chosen to make us his sons and daughters to understand fully that closer, God for us. We'll never know that. Let's be, you know, not too pious. We'll never know it totally. So I think that sometimes, you know, after this kind of cold spring that we had, that seemed to drug out so much, some people say, oh, I just like to go out with the sun. Well, I think today we should simply revel in the divine love. That is the identity of the Trinity. Let it fall over you like a great way, empowering us to live as faithful disciples, thereby, thereby allowing the love and peace and the justice of God to be more present in our world, no matter what the world is going on in the world. The poster says it well, and I don't mean just the margins. They do speak to poster today. God for us. I invite you to please stand and let us profess our faith in the God for us. We pray to cross the street together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Amen. We confidently present our petition before our faithful God, who always hears our concerns. In our response, His Lord hear our prayer. For all members of the Universal Church, to the sharing of gifts and Respecting diversity, may we grow in unity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are experiencing difficulty during this pandemic, especially the hungry, the sick and elderly, the grieving, and the unemployed, may know the compassionate support of others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of charity and peace in our world, for healing from racial prejudice. May the voices of suffering be heard, and may we purge violence and injustice permanently from our world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the youth of our parish to receive the sacrament of confirmation today, Saturday, and for Gabriel and David Martinez, baptized into Christ this weekend, be the Holy Spirit strengthen them on their journey of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The graduates of our grade school and high school during a year of uncharacteristic challenges. May they celebrate their accomplishments in a special way and be assured of the prayers and support of this community, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, especially Celia Aurelia, member of our parish, and for all victims of violence, and for the over 100,000 people who have died from the coronavirus. May they rest in eternal peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For 
for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us offer these petitions to our triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, you unite your people with love. Hear the prayers that we offer for the church and the world. Through Jesus Christ, our brother, who reigns forever and God. Amen. As you're seated now, usual collection by the uh, uh, hospitality with the basket will not take place, but as you come forward to Holy Communion, there at the beginning uh, of the aisles. Also online is giving too, is it also available?
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In prayer, let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We pray. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, ascension in heaven, and we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the offering of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. And grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, patroness of the parish. Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, with all the saints of this constant intercession in your presence, we rely on your faith in God. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity the pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and our Bishop, with all love. Clergy, our religious, and the entire people to have gained for your fall. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to joy forever in the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him with him in him. O God, the mighty Father, in the energy of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. And we continue 
Let us pray. Holy God, grant that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Quick thoughts. There are petitions that are near the particular baptismal vow addressing police policies, and this is coming from our social concerns uh, committee, uh, and asking that national and local governments just review all policies of police for the sake of life as well as their own life as a authority figure in our presence. You may sign those particular petitions, so we heard for the next couple weekends, and we'll get them off to um, local governments. Also, um, many of you realize that I'm uh, kind of packing up and doing, sorting through things. I have uh, my total library uh, I'm giving away, and so a lot of my books are out underneath the canopy that's on this side of the church, on uh, the uh, north side uh, door of the uh, short side of the church. So uh, if you see something you like, pick it up, take it. If you see a book that you can give to somebody else, I help them take it also. They'll be there for maybe a couple weekends. Nonetheless, uh, wish you a good week. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Amen.